Hi YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you how to um, how to create a uh, offline password removal tool uh, through using a USB. The first thing we really need to do is put your USB in and find out which one it is. I've already made this um, I've already made this before, but I'm going to right click and uh, once you're sure which one is your USB, what we're going to do is we're going to click Format. Because this has to be a FAT32. So you make sure you click on this and you just pick, pick FAT32. And then go down here and click Start. Click. Don't do anything here. Just quick, quick Format and then hit Start. When this pops up, just hit OK. <coughs> Okay, and that, that's it. Your format is complete. Then you can close this. You can temporarily close this. What we're going to do is, I provided you a link below. You're going to go to this link, and you're going to click on this this boot disk right here, and then you're going to scroll down until you see this. Now, I'm going to give some advice here. If, if you have a CD-ROM or a CD-DVD burner, whatever, and you're familiar with it just download this image burn this image and it'll be much easier than the USB most computers accept booting from CD if if you're here because you wanted to use a USB that's what this video is all about so I'm going to show you how to use the USB you click this link here once this opens you click OK to save I'm not going to click OK because I've already saved it it's up here to save some time I'm just gonna go ahead and open it um, you're gonna need to know where your computer saves your downloads if you're in Firefox usually you can just click on the arrow that I just did up here and you will be able to open it click the extract button now the, the drive that you just formatted you're gonna click the D button you well mine's D yours, yours may be something else so I'm going to hit OK. It takes a minute, a few seconds to, uh, to go onto the, the pen drive. Once that disappears, you're pretty much done. So you can close this. You know, you're going to click here. You're going to go to computer. And you're going to double click on here to see what's going on. All right, everything's on there, so we're good to go. The next thing we're going to do you should still be right on the same page we're going to scroll down a little bit and this shows you how to make the CD so if you decided you wanted to go ahead and do the CD this will show you how to do that um, now to, we, we've got the information on the USB device now we have to make it bootable it ha it's not bootable the way it is right now so what you need to do is copy this little bit of code right here you copy it and what I do, because sometimes the USB or the uh, command prompt likes to be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. So what I do is I, I paste it in here. I, you see I've already done that. I click paste and it's already in here. But um, I technically didn't need to do that. I don't know where my other thing just went to. but. But basically the reason why I had you click it in here is because now you can just go like this and change your um, change change it to your drive letter like I just did. And then you're going to highlight this, you're going to right click, you're going to copy, and then you're going to go down here to start. You're going to click in here and you're going to type CMD. You need to be on an administrator account. I'm going to note that below prior to you starting but you need to be on an administrator account otherwise it will not let you do it and I'll show you just for the fun of it I didn't click administrator I just opened it now I'm gonna right click paste and I'm gonna hit enter it's probably gonna tell me no because I'm not an administrator I'm on a I'm on a other, another account that's one reason why I did did it the way I did it so that I can show you that it will not work unless you're on an administrator account so I'm just gonna exit out of this I'm going to click start. I'm going to type CMD again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to run as administrator. I don't have a password so I'm just going to hit I don't have a password on here. I'm going to click yes. This might not even show up on the screen. Sometimes it doesn't show 
when it's when it pops up for security reasons because if I type my password in there it might show who knows but regardless we're gonna right click we're gonna we're gonna hit enter and now you should just it should just do exactly what you see on the screen it just shows see Windows system 32 and that should take care of um, a non bootable disk so now um, you should be able to you should be able to go shut your computer down restart with the USB device in and if your floppy device is the first boot device it should run off the disk if not um, you may have to go into your BIOS and change the boot priority or the boot order so that the USB or floppy boots first I hope this works for everybody and uh, this is uh, this is a tool all the the big boys use in the, uh, the computer repair shop so anytime you go to a computer repair shop they're using a tool similar to this one or a, a tool that incorporates this so good luck and I, I hope you enjoyed the video